Now flip over if we were to Deuteronomy chapter 13. And again, this, this looking at jealousy as a, as a bad trait, a bad characteristic, is indicative of this permissive culture that we live in. Permissive, permitting whatever, everything, all manner of sin, abomination. That's why we see the, the coexist bumper stickers, right, on all the cars. Oh, can we just all get along? And, you know, I, and people just, just boast when you go to the doors. Well, I respect all religions. You know, and, and they act like they're going to do you a favor by not, you know, chewing you out or something. You say, well, I respect all religions. And then kind of like, like, and you should too. No, I don't respect all religions. I don't respect devils. I don't respect these satanic religions that, that set up these false gods. I have no respect for that whatsoever. And you know, I don't think God wants me respecting these, these religions and doctrines of devils that are sending people to hell. I think he wants us worshiping him. In fact, when we look at Deuteronomy chapter number 13, we'll get God's take on it in his law on how he feels about people coexisting and saying, hey, let's, Let's go worship some other God. Oh, yeah, I know you're a Christian. Why don't you come over here, though, and, and come into our temple and come into to, to our synagogue of Satan and, and come worship over here and see how God dealt with that according to his law. Look at Deuteronomy chapter number 13, verse number 1. The Bible says, If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. So what he's saying here is, if you get some guy coming along claiming to be a prophet, and he makes some prophecy and it actually comes to pass, and the reason why he's bringing this up is because he's, he's also given us Hey, if someone makes a prophecy and it doesn't come to pass, you know 100% for sure that's not from God. Because the only prophecies that are going to come true, you know, any prophecy from God is going to come to pass. Because God doesn't go back on his word. He doesn't change his mind. He doesn't tell lies, right? So, so the number one surefire way to know if someone is just a total liar saying, oh, I got this word from the Lord and the Lord's going to do this and the Lord's going to do that and it doesn't happen, you don't have to listen to that guy. He's a false prophet. But just because someone says something or makes a prediction, makes some type of prophecy that actually comes to pass, that doesn't automatically guarantee that they're of the Lord. He's saying even if you see like a sign or a wonder, you cannot just say, oh, well, this just must be from God then. You have to listen to the content of what they're saying. And this is what he says, you know, even in the last days, we're going to see this. Anyone who's alive and is remaining, for when the false Christ and the Antichrist arrive, the Antichrist comes on the scene, he's going to deceive the people with what? Lying signs and wonders. Lying signs and wonders. He's going to use wonders to, to get people to go, wow, this must be God. But what's he going to be preaching? Another God. He's going to be leading people away. He's not going to be preaching the Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to be teaching and preaching another God. And that's what God is warning people here. And he's saying, you know what? Even if you see people that come to you showing signs and wonders, he says, I'm just doing this to prove you. It's to test you just to make sure. Yeah, they said something that came to pass, but they're telling you to go serve other gods. So now I'm going to know what's in your heart. Are you really going to believe in me still? Are you, going to, are you going to stick with it and stick with my words and stick with the Lord? Or are you just going to allow your eyes to just be taken by some wonder that, that some charlatan comes and, and performs that's going to take your heart away to go serve after some other God and go whoring around with a different God? And he says the only reason he even allows that to happen is just as a test, just to see can you stick with it? Are you true? Is your faith true? Or are you just going to go with, with the wind and, and go with whatever looks good? 
and this is what I think you know a lot of the people in the in the Pentecostal type movement they're just looking for these signs and wonders and all oh, this speaking in tongues and this healing and all this other stuff it's just they're just drawn to that type of a thing but what actually is being spoken is just heretical and lies and blasphemous and just against the Word of God